Okay, today's book is going to be Before She Was Harriet by Lisa Klein Ransom, illustrated by James E. Ransom. Harriet here. All right, everybody, today's book is going to be Before She Was Harriet by Lisa Klein Ransom, illustrated by James E. Ransom. Here she sits, an old woman tired and worn, her legs stiff, her back achy. But before wrinkles formed and her eyes failed, before she reached her twilight years, she could walk for miles and see clearly under a sky lit only with stars. Before she was an old woman, she was a suffragist, a voice for women who had none in marriages, in courts, in voting booths. Before her voice became soft and raspy, it was loud and angry, rising above injustice. Before she was a suffragist, she was General Tubman, rising out of the fog, armed with courage, strong in the face of rebels and planters and overseers as they watched fields burn and bridges fall and 700 slaves stop chopping and start running to a woman who ferried them to read freedom on the Com Combahee River turned River Jordan. So she, before she was a suffragist and a voice for women, she was a general and she helped save slaves. Before she was General Tubman, she was a Union spy, carrying secrets across battlefields to soldiers fighting in the Civil War for President Lincoln to end slavery. Before she was a Union spy, she was a nurse, caring for those hit with bullets and hatred and fear, tending to them with bandages and words and the bloody dirt of Southern soil. Before she was a nurse, she was Aunt Harriet, daughter of Ben and Ritt, who helped her parents flee their master and find their way through woods and streams to the safety of Canada and a new home in the North. Before she was Aunt Harriet, she was Moses, a conductor on an underground railroad with no trains and no tracks, just passengers traveling to freedom up north through swamps, past slave catchers, across rivers, under the cover of night. Seeking the promised land for her people, led by dreams and God and faith, a wisp of a woman with the courage of a lion. Before she was Moses, she was Minty of Maryland, of one slave owner and then others who worked her, punished her with lashes, broke her back, but not her spirit. Before she was Minty, she was Armenita, a young girl taught by her father to read the woods and the stars at night, readying for the day. She'd leave behind slavery along with her name and pick a new one, Harriet. And remember her days as a suffragist, a general, a spy, a nurse, as Aunt Harriet, as Moses, as a conductor, as Minty, as Armanita, who dreamed of living long enough to one day be old, stiff, and achy, tired, and worn, and wrinkled, and free. All right, that was our book for today. We are now going to take our practice quiz. Remember that you guys have 10 seconds to answer your question. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. Who did Harriet stand up for as a suffragist? Hat wearers, the poor, slaves, or women. Ten seconds.
if you said she stood up for women as a suffragist, good job. What river did General Tubman ferry slaves on? The Times, the Combahee, uh, Nile River, or Mississippi River? 10 seconds. If you said the Combahee River, good job. During what war was Harriet Tubman a spy? World War II, Vietnam, Operation Desert Storm, or Civil War? 10 seconds. If you said Civil War, very good. To what country did Aunt Harriet help slaves escape? Russia, Canada, England, or Mexico? 10 seconds. If she said she helped slaves escape to Canada, good job. When did Moses help lead slaves to freedom? Day or night? 10 seconds. If she said that she helped slaves to freedom at night time, then you got it. What was Harriet named when she was born? Grockle, Armanita, Tremenity, Tremenity, or Frederick? 10 seconds. If you said her original name was Armanita, good job. How many slaves did Harriet save? 250 slaves, 700 slaves, or 10 slaves? 10 seconds. If you said 700 slaves, good job. What was Harriet before she was General Tubman? Harriet, nurse, or union spy? 10 seconds. If you said she was a spy, good job. What was Harriet's name when she was a slave? Minty, Moses, or General Tubman? 10 seconds. If you said when she was a slave, her name was Minty, good job. What was Harriet's first name? General Tubman, Harriet, or Amandita? Okay, so the correct answer for that question was Armanita. Okay, so last question. What does Harriet Tubman become at the end of the story? Free, Armanita, old, a slave. 10 seconds. He says she becomes free. Very good. All righty, that was our practice quiz. This one is a long one and it has a lot of information. So I suggest you guys go back and reread the book one more time before you take your practice quiz. I'm going to go ahead and bring up your quiz number. Your quiz number today is 193579. Okay, one more time, 193579. As always, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow on a happy Friday. Bye.